And China's deflationary pressures persist, highlighting the precarious nature of the country's economic recovery as the year 2023 draws to a close. Economists polled by Bloomberg predict that Chinese consumer prices fell back into deflation in October. The inflation data will be released on Thursday. Similarly, producer prices have likely fallen for the 13th month in a row. Consumer prices have remained stubbornly weak this year. Since July, when it first fell into deflation, the consumer price index has been precariously close to zero year on year. The People's Bank of China predicted in August that prices would recover after the summer slump. But a further decline may show the prediction to, be ha to have been too optimistic. The course of economic recovery might be further highlights by the other reports in the coming days. In Sunday, China's Premier promised that his country will increase imports and increase access to new markets. But J.B. Morgan are gearing up for a long winter in Chinese markets. The Asian economy was expected to revive this year, making Chinese equities and bonds once again attractive investments for international buyers. After 10 months, things have changed drastically. As the real estate crisis reverberates through the economy, it is offsetting the momentum gained from the long-awaited pandemic reopening and Chinese stocks are among the world's worst performers as a result. The yuan is hovering around 16-year low. The yuan is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.